right, so it's been a while since I've done a video, and honestly, I'm not 100% sure what to say. Um, so, as most of you know, we're back in Kentucky right now. Uh, we're in our home church. We are basically the goal and the plan right now is to focus on the Lord, draw our family in close, make sure my family is focused on the Lord, um, and then honestly to wait on the Lord and to um, seek His face and His timing for what the next steps for us should be. Um, I am still burdened for Iceland. I um, I still believe God wants me in Iceland. Um, I was kind of thinking about that verse this morning, even, um, the gifts and callings of God are without repentance. And I don't want to misapply that verse, but, um, you know, it, it is the burden that God has given me to uh, take the gospel cross-culturally. And um, that's, that's what we're praying for. And as far as prayer requests go, that's what I'd ask you to pray for. If you would pray that the Lord opens those doors for me. It is our burden. Um, I want to thank each and every one of you. So many of you have just been such a tremendous blessing to us. Churches have supported us and helped us during this time, which has been an unbelievable blessing to, to, to make this adjustment. I cannot thank you enough for that. Individuals have reached out to us and have just cared for us and have, above all, prayed for us, which is amazing. And I thank you for that as well. Um, it's been almost six months since, well, it has been six months since Nadia died. Uh, July 23rd was six months to the day from the day that she died. July 31st, coming up in a few days, is actually going to be anniversary. So it's a, I feel like I'm doing good, but it is definitely a um, time that can be filled with a lot of emotion. And so I would ask you to pray for that as well during this time, just that I have stability and that I'm anchored in the Lord because ultimately he's, he's in control. Um, I don't want to make this video too long and I could go rambling for a while. But um, just to kind of give you where we're at, at the moment, we are filling in gaps at our home church, trying to stay busy in the ministry and, and, and not lose sight of the things the Lord has for us. Um, I've filled the role as the uh, music leader for right now. Um, Lord willing, I'll be starting up an adult Sunday school class from scratch coming up in the fall, just a, 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 a way to reach out into the community, to evangelize, to disciple, to put... Uh, all of the things that we're going to be using on the mission field, put them into practice here and now and uh, support the local church. Um, so very um, excited to be doing those things, but there is definitely a, a weight of not being where I feel like the Lord wants us to be. Um, but I know that we're exactly where the Lord wants us to be. We are right here right now and this is the day that the Lord hath made and um, we're rejoicing and we're glad in it and so we're trying not to allow our emotions and our feelings to move us out of the place the Lord has us today um, so pray for us concerning ministry right now that's uh, another prayer request I have so first prayer request would be just kind of emotional uh, stability at least especially during this next month and a half. Um, uh, for example, obviously, my wife's death date was just a few days ago, uh, six months from. Uh, her Our anniversary is on the 31st. We're actually doing our missions conference this year uh, at the beginning of August, the first week in, first full week in August, which I think is going to be a heavy time for me. Just uh, uh, temptation to the feeling of a, a temporary loss of, of ministry. And then at the end of the month is Nadia's birthday on the 31st. So a lot of things uh, 
well, to, to add to that, also about a week and a half before her birthday was the day she found out she had cancer. So a lot of trigger points during this month and a half. So I do ask for your prayers. That's the first prayer request is just emotional stability and focus on the Lord. Second prayer request would be um, current opportunities for ministry. We are asking the Lord to give us opportunities uh, for ministry. We want to serve the Lord. That's our goal and that's our, our purpose. So asking him to open doors and show us things and just enable us to be able to do that uh, during this time. And then my third prayer request would be that the Lord would bring us uh, into Iceland. Um, I would ask that you would pray those things. And not Iceland specifically. I mean, yes, Iceland, but missions. And just if the Lord would allow me to take the gospel where it's not. Uh, that, that's our burden. To reach unreached people groups or for the most part, unreached people groups. So if you would pray for those things, that would be a tremendous blessing. We love all of you and we're so thankful that you have been so understanding and patient and kind and prayerful toward us. And uh, we ask that you would continue to do so. And we thank you for supporting us. I'm going to let you go. So until next time, thanks again.